Okay, this is Super B1970. Um, I am taking uh, classes at Texas A&M Central Texas campus, and one of the classes is computer architecture. Uh, in that class, we have four digital circuit projects and four assembly programming language projects. This is the uh, fourth of the four circuit projects. It's called, I'm trying to build a 8-bit ripple counter using a JK flip-flop gates. And this is, the software is called Logisim, as you can see right here. I'm running this on a Toshiba laptop, i3 core, Intel, quad core, with the 8 gigs of 1600 uh, megahertz RAM on a 17.3 inch screen, not that you care, but um, running uh, Windows 7 on the laptop and I installed VirtuBox, VirtualBox on it uh, a couple days ago and loaded Windows 8.1 within the VirtualBox and that is what I'm running this Logisim on. So it's a little glitchy. Glitchy? Is that the right word? I bet you love that. Okay, um, mouse. The mouse is anyway. Okay, so eight. This is a 4-bit JK flip-flop ripple counter. And that's about four, four of these uh, flip-flops are about all you can fit on this Logisim screen. And I'm trying to find a way to add four more. Y'all know how? Let me know. Where you can see all the uh, JK flip flops. All eight of them on the same page without using tunnels or, or anything like that. Okay, I'm going to run this uh, simulation. And it's just a binary counter. Simulate, tick enable. You're gonna watch right here. Q0123. I'm gonna go through the binary sequence of all four bits. And there it goes, it's already done. Got it uh, set at two. not like all this stuff running at the same time that's for sure okay tick frequency right here two Hertz and we can speed that baby up double it Double it again. Eight. And I don't know how fast this recorder, the screen recorder, is going to record these uh, circuits running. Let's go 16. You can see the sequence on the binary output. It's quadruple at sixty four. Wow, that is fast. Okay, let's go double. Now I can't even see it clearly. It's just a blur. Right, back to slow poke. Two hertz.
All right. And these are using, this is a NAND gate. Uh, JK flip flop, you can use different kinds of gates. These are all NANDs in here. And there's one uh, NOT, I believe that is. Go over here to gates. Click it. Alright, I'm going to turn off simulation. Ticks. Disabled. Alright, uh, I didn't see any 4 bit NAND gate ripple counters um, on YouTube or any, anywhere. Um, on Logisim, Logisim, anyway. That's why I wanted to post this. Uh, I'm going to, as soon as I get the 8 bit uh, built, I'll throw that on here as well. On a different video, of course. Thanks, and have a good one.